I'm kind of old. True. My life's kind of boring. Also true. But I'll film it anyway. No one asked for this. Hope you're ready for it, cause I'm blocking till Christmas Day. Oh my god, please never let me do that again. everybody welcome to vlogmas number seven i think this is number seven it is <laughs> took me a second there but um good morning it is like 9 a.m ish it is so cold in my house right now our heater is freaking broken a repair person is coming out tomorrow but it is 61 degrees in my house never thought i'd complain about being cold in this house but here we are so hopefully that'll get fixed tomorrow but anyways i'm just getting started with my day did my little early morning workout today took a couple hours took a nice everything shower got ready hung out did some computer work and now i'm getting started on filming like a little ad partnership that's going to be part of a main channel video and i need to send that footage to my editor by tomorrow so i need to make sure i do that today and then i thought that we would just kind of hang out today run a couple of errands we do have plans tonight we're going to one of our nieces um like holiday recital things at her school so that'll be really fun and that's around like five ish so we're gonna try to get as much done as possible in the meantime i'm gonna film my little ad thing hopefully that won't take more than like 30 or so minutes and then we will get started with the rest of the day i feel really good i'm glad that i got up and did my workout this morning because yesterday no it was like day one of my period i was laid out on the couch all day long i was just incapacitated if you will so if you needed a gentle nudge to get some movement in because it makes you feel good then let this be your example but also if you're feeling like you need to slow down and rest that's what i did yesterday and it was great and now today we're back to it anyways i'm very comfy i need to change into my cute clothes for this section of the video and then we'll check in in a bit Okay, it's a little while later, just finished my filming not too long ago, and made myself a little snack, breakfast, I don't really know what to call it. My usual, just yogurt and fruit with some eggs and my favorite hot sauce, which is the Yellow Bird Serrano hot sauce, I think it's called? Habanero? I can't remember, it's the green one. I'm gonna eat this real quick, and then we're gonna head out. I have a few errands to run. I need to mail some Christmas presents. I need to mail something for a very exciting video that's going up on Christmas that you guys will see on Christmas Day on my main channel. And then I really, really wanna try those candied cranberries. I don't know if I have all the ingredients, so I might need to pick up some of those, and then we'll come home and try those. But that's my morning. Good times. So thrilling, aren't you glad you tuned in? All right, first stop on the errands is to return these light switch plate thingies, sadly, that didn't work out for our outlets. And there's like a certain configuration of them that goes with a certain return package because like, I don't know, they shipped separately or something like that. So I'm gonna start there and let this be a reminder to those of you who have those packages that are either sitting in your trunk or they're like, I don't know, taking up space in a closet somewhere and you know you need to return them. Here's your sign to return them. All right, let's do this. That literally took two seconds. Like, why do we do this? Why do we do this to ourselves? Anyway, okay, next stop is gonna be, I think like the Dollar Tree, because I need to get a few Christmas cards for people, like to include in some gifts that I'm shipping. Like I'm shipping a gift to my dad, I'm shipping something to Alexa, to our friends Josh and Noel, and like, why would I spend five, six dollars on a card when I can spend a dollar twenty-five? <laughs> I'm gonna be doing that, so let's do it and see what else they have. They have five dollar, four foot tall candy canes. Fun. Do I need that? No, but that's cool. Okay, here's what I've got for my dad because he loves a funny card and dogs. We have 
You'll have a happy holiday. I just knows it. No other words necessary. We got a card for a friend's Josh and Noel. And we got our gift bags. So I think we're pretty good. I heard someone say that there were Christmas village people at Dollar Tree, but I didn't see anything. So it must've been like earlier in the year or something. But I think we got everything. So let's head out. All right, got that done. Next, we're gonna head to the post office and ship this stuff off. And then I don't think, I've been seeing like a couple different versions of the candied cranberries recipe. And I don't think I'm gonna do the whole like soaking them for 24 hours. Cause I saw someone say that they did that to a batch and then to another batch, they didn't soak them and they tasted the exact same. So we're just gonna go for it. We're gonna head to the post office now. And um, hopefully it won't be too crazy cause the line to even look at the cards in the dollar store just now was crazy, so we'll see. Okay, I've been sitting here for what feels like an hour, but I finally got everything packed up, shipped out, ready to go. I sent out four packages. Feels good to have it done, and now we're gonna head home. All right, it's a while later. It's actually much, much later. I'm going to make these freaking cranberries because it's all I've been thinking about. And like I said, I'm gonna do like a sort of modified version. I feel like there are, every person is different. Look, there's like a Russian grandma. She has like a, you know, age old recipe that I've seen someone share online. I've seen people be like, oh, I make them this way every year. Like, I think it just depends. And I'm just simply not going to be like soaking these things for 24 hours. Some people are like, you have to poke holes in each individual cranberry. Like, I'm not doing that. So I'm gonna do this like easy version. This girl said she makes them every single year. So she starts with fresh cranberries. She adds sugar and lemon, tosses them in the liquid, then tosses them in powdered sugar, pops them in the oven for like 15 minutes or something like that. You're not supposed to be cooking them. You're supposed to be drying them out. So the oven is preheated to 200 degrees. Then you stick them in the fridge and like let them cool down for a little bit and then they're supposed to be crunchy. So, okay, first things first, we have our cranberries left over from our little mocktails we made, so we're gonna wash these up. Hopefully these will be good because I always find myself every year buying these bags of cranberries and then never really getting to eat all of them because I don't love fresh cranberry sauce. Unpopular opinion. Drew and I, that's our toxic trait, is we prefer like the literal can. It's, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna add these to the bowl. We're gonna add the juice or the equivalent. I don't have any fresh lemons at the moment, so this will be fine. This is lemon juice. We're gonna do three tablespoons, which is the juice of about one lemon. I think that's what she did. Yeah, okay, I just checked. So it is the juice of one lemon and then a quarter cup of sugar. One, two, three tablespoons of lemon juice. And then a quarter cup of white sugar. I mean, this is organic, so it's not super white, but whatever. Cane sugar. Wow, it already looks gorgeous. So then she just tosses them around like this. Make sure everything is coated. And then once she's done with this, she drains the liquid, I guess. I would say that's pretty good. Let's drain this liquid. Drain them again. Then you're gonna toss them on your baking sheet and then put some powdered sugar. I think she said she used one cup, which feels like a lot, but whatever. Also, I was quite literally like 35 years old when I learned that powdered sugar is just blended up regular sugar. I had no idea. Okay, here goes one cup of powdered sugar. Just feels like so much sugar, but also they're very tart. Okay. Ooh. Some people toss these in more granulated sugar. Some people toss them in powdered sugar. I think it just depends, but I'm just going the classic powdered sugar way. I just really felt like doing this with my hands. I really wanna taste one now, but I'm gonna wait. I know that she recommended doing this on the pan in the recipe, but I would recommend doing this in a bowl. It's like a little messy, but that's okay. You know when you're making like pie dough or like pie crust and it sticks to your fingers? That's literally what's happening. If I was a kid, I would've <laughs> suckled all of this off my fingers. Maybe I still will, who knows? Okay, it's looking pretty good. Now we're gonna pop these in a 200 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes, it says. And then we'll stick them in the fridge and let them cool down. 
We'll see you in about 20 minutes. Sorry, I'm eating food, but it's ready. Let's take them out of the oven. So we're gonna put them on the counter, let them cool for a few minutes, and then stick them in the fridge for as long as possible, honestly. I definitely see that some juices were happening and I can see some of them like wanna split. So I'm assuming that means they're drying? I don't know. Transferring them from this baking dish to this plate. You can hear, you can hear a sound when they fall. So like, I think they're a little more dried out. I don't know. All right, in the fridge they go. All right, so while those are cooling, I'm up here trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear. I'm like, do I wear a Christmas sweater? I can't remember if this is inside or outside. So I have this really cute Christmas vest. It is missing one ribbon, but no one has to know that. I may end up like replacing it with something else. This is really cute. So like this with a little white tee underneath, some baggy jeans, even like a black skirt would be cute. I do have my ever adorable little like Hope Macaulay DIY dupe that I did last year. I do still need to like sew these on. This is a very cute one, but that's more like a Christmas party. It's a little more on the nose. I have this Christmas sweatshirt. This is like an off the shoulder sweatshirt and like I could just wear it with leggings. Drew said he's just wearing jeans. I'm trying to figure out where to put you. Drew's just wearing jeans and like it's gonna get chillier outside. So like this could potentially be cute. I got this at the Rose Bowl and I cut it recently. So I'm like, okay, that's an option. I also have my classic, I wear this every single year. I got this at a store at Mall of America called Ragstock. My dad used to shop there when he was younger. My dad's from Minnesota. And we were back there for one Christmas and Drew and I got these um, Christmas sweaters there. I actually did that with my cousins growing up too. I feel like every year Christmas time comes around and I always wish that I wore more of my Christmas sweater. So this is an opportunity to do that. So it's like, I might as well. I'm gonna try this on with what I have on and then we're gonna see how I feel about it. I don't know. Cause I'm really kind of just feeling leggings and a sweatshirt. Somehow this mirror has gotten even worse. Um, whatever. I'm going for cozy vibes, okay? It's like a 20 minute recital, it'll be fine. <laughs> I love this sweatshirt. It was actually quite a surprise when I opened up my little Christmas sweater, you know, it, it was in storage. And I opened this up and I was like, ah, I love it. It was a crew neck, but I cut it into a little off the shoulder moment. And I'm just wearing my fake Uggs. And there you have it. Will I clean this mirror in this vlog? No, I will not. But I will do it before the end of Vlogmas, I promise. I'm gonna go put on a different pair of glasses because I need to be able to see. And um, we're gonna head out. I think we're gonna grab some dinner and like kind of hang out for a little bit. But when we get back, that'll be when we try the cranberries. And then they'll be like nice and cold, you know? I think that'll make them extra good. We're back, yes. We're all gonna try them. I'm the only one that's gonna be on camera. Everyone feel free to give your thoughts, opinions. I don't know which one I want. So they're coated in like a lemon juice sugar thing. You coat them, then you coat them in the powdered sugar, then you bake them at 200 degrees for 15 minutes so they dry out of it. Then you put them in the fridge and they're supposed to be crunchy. Oh, okay, okay. well let's see. <laughs> She said, quit your yapping and let's try them. You don't want one? No. Okay, here we go. Are they good? Oh, no. Why are they all wrinkly? They're dehydrated. Wait, I want to try. Not bad. No. Okay, here. Oh, that was a good crunch. It's like, I keep eating them, so. Interesting. Oh, wow. I like a grape. Why don't I have the crunch that everyone else has? I didn't get that crunch. Mm -mm. I mean, they're not bad. It does taste like a grape, like a yeah. sour grape. It tastes like cranberry juice to me. Have you had the fruit that they've like frozen in like mm. the sugar? That, that one is kind of bitter. Yeah. I'm not getting the crunch. Oh, that was just sugar. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I mean. That one wasn't bad. Some of them are really tart and it's like. That one was a good crunch. I don't know. Oh, Lori. I kinda like them. <laughs> We're like, I don't know, literally. Okay, out of 10, I'm gonna go 
7.5. Like, it's not bad, but I would never, like, go out of my way to make it. I would never do it again. What about you? Probably like a six. Six and a half. A five. Um, you spit like it out. Until. <laughs> Until. All right, it's much later now. It's like nine o'clock, and I am just really really bothered by this pile of stuff do you remember I don't know how many vlogs ago this was but I had pulled all of my like childhood memory box and just like adulthood memory box stuff out of a closet and it's been sitting here on the floor in my office ever since like every time I film a video every time I do anything all of this stuff has just been sitting here and I feel like it needs to be organized because it's just all over the place so like I have this memory box box that has just like the most random stuff in it i have this shoe box of like childhood photos just like the most random stuff and i need to do something with it i have this this is like kind of a combination of mine and drew's stuff so i was like okay we need to fix this so i bought these like um little organizational storage box things they're just like fabric and i thought we would Go through them. I actually uploaded a video, I don't know, like a year or so ago, a year or two ago, where I kind of went through some of this stuff and like shared some bits of my childhood. So maybe we'll take another little walk down memory lane together. Okay, how does this work? This is the lid, got it, got it. Here's the little bottom. I like that there are lids to these. That makes me feel good. I really hope these are all the same size because I don't know why it really bothers me when things are different sizes. I like where this is going. Okay, I'll put the lids over here. And so I thought, you know, we're, um, what is it called? Body doubling? <laughs> where you like have someone with you. Just pretend you're with me, you know? Um, okay, where am I starting? I feel like in the future, I'll probably like organize these a little bit better, but for now, We'll just see what we can do. So this little box of photos, this is an old, what even is that? I must have glued it. There's, I wrote a smiley face on the inside of this. Like I clearly drew on the inside of this shoe box. Oh, another smiley face. This is funny. And these are a pair of, oh, I got a, a faith. That was my youth group days. Um, this is like a Seychelles or something like that. What is this shoe brand called? Hello? Seychelles. I, clearly I did some sort of like ransom magazine cutout thing. I don't know. I don't remember. But yeah, this is just a box of childhood photos. So I'll show you a few of them. Oh, we have a little, um, little like a uh, poodle skirt moment. I'm 99% sure my mom made that. So this would have been... I think this might have been like a father-daughter dance, which makes me really emotional. I just love my dad so much and um, I miss him. I don't like living far away from family. I feel like most of my adult life, really, I have lived away from one of my parents. Like when I'm here, I'm far from my dad. When I'm in Nashville, I was far from my mom. This is a personality pick for sure like that is the essence of me as a child 100 percent. we have a little a little soccer moment this was my very brief foray into soccer i don't know like i know a lot of people are um feeling similar complicated feelings about the holidays i guess you could say like for me the holidays have a lot of layered feelings like obviously it's a really joyful time and I love celebrating and getting festive and getting cozy and all that kind of stuff but you know everyone's life is different behind the scenes and family is always really complex and complicated and um yeah like it's it's not the same as it was when you were a kid and you realize that the older you get and maybe like if you do have kids you kind of recreate that magic for them and like in some ways I feel that with like our nieces and stuff but um there are just some feelings that come along with the holidays that are really not great and like a lot of sadness and um grief for a lot of people you know as you get older sometimes you lose people in your life um and things just like are never the same and yeah it's like um <laughs> without divulging too much of like my own personal family and stuff it's like things have changed a lot over the years and 
Um, it's just tough. So anyways, if anyone else is going through that, I hope you know that you're not alone and that it's probably more common than you think. And that a lot of other people are also dealing with complicated, like, I don't know, sometimes, like, I usually cry almost every Christmas. <laughs> um, I'm just like, I'm emotional to like those super close to me, but I am a Capricorn on the outside. So I'm like, oh, absolutely not. Like I would never. But um, sometimes I get really sad around the holidays and I kind of just want to normalize that. So anyway, okay, here's a fun picture of me and my dad on a boat. I wish I had my dad's tan, but I do not. There are so many fun pictures in here. Okay, um, classic Disney adult, but I was a Disney kid back then. This was, um, I think in Minnie's house in Toontown and you used to not be able to go inside, but now I think you can go back inside of the characters' houses. So that's fun. We have another father-daughter dance. Oh, this is so cute. It must've been some sort of like Western dance or something. That is so special. This was my, I'm thinking like second, third grade picture, maybe third grade. This hair color, honestly, slayed like i will probably i mean this is my natural hair color obviously but um it's a little darker than that these days but i will definitely go back to something like that someday we have me and my grandpa that's so sweet there's just so many cute pictures i'm obviously not gonna go through all of them but i love it this is one of my favorite pictures ever this is me and my mom i wish i knew what year this was but we're just eating watermelon just me and my bestie I just think that's so cute. She has that framed in her house. I just think this is the best picture. Oh, okay, come on, queen. I mean, listen, I've always been hitting the poses. You know what I mean? This was like, I think in Big Sur, so funny. I was always like a very just super curious, weird, wacky child. And I love it. It makes me so happy to look back on these memories. Ooh, me and my childhood crush. Okay, sorry, that's kind of cute. I remember this was my kindergarten <laughs> picture day and I was screaming my head off that my mom wanted to curl my hair, but then I ended up loving it. It's so funny. Oh my God, literally this outfit that I'm wearing is like oversized t-shirt, bike shorts and Converse. Like I've always been me, you know what I mean? <laughs> I would, okay, besides the bangs, the bangs are bad, okay? We acknowledge that, but this outfit, I would still wear. Like, I would literally still wear this. I would get bangs, but maybe just not that intense, you know what I mean? Here's me being a horse girl. I have always loved horses. Like, literally, my entire life, obsessed. Okay, <sighs> me still to this day. Me with my chicken nuggets and my sweet and sour, like, it's my personal brand. I think I'm just gonna stick, until I find a better solution than this Seychelles box, I think I'm just gonna stick the whole box in here. I don't even know how long I've been filming for, and that is um, one thing that I've put in this box. So I kinda need to pick it up. Cause like, I really don't wanna sit here and take forever. What time is it? Well, it's like just before nine, it's fine. All right, um, what do we have here? We have, this is like my dad's. Oh my God. Oh, I went through a phase where I used to draw people's dogs. This was my friend, my childhood friend's dog, Jesse. This is a dog named Pepper. I don't remember. Oh, I think Jesse had puppies. So we have Pepper and Missy. Fun, cute. That's my dad's, I don't know. Sometimes like things get, when my dad brings me stuff, he either gives me stuff of like my siblings or I don't know, like stuff that's meant for him. Super helper award. Um, hello, go me. This is, oh God, who even knows? Oh, more dogs, more dogs. Oh my God, more dogs. <laughs> I wish I was kidding. We have Lucky, Schnauzer, Beethoven, the spelling. <laughs> and they all say Merry Christmas on them. So love that I used one of my dad's free prescription notepads clearly on this masterpiece. Oh my God, this is one of my report cards. I'm sure I showed all of this at some point. <gasps> I have a check in here that I never cashed for my great grandma. <laughs> she literally died like 25 years ago. Carrie, my dearest, have a very happy 10th birthday. I'll be thinking of you with love. And I hope you have many more birthdays. Oh, 
She wrote me a $10 check for my 10th birthday. That's so sweet and I never cashed it. This is really, really special. I did show this in a previous vlog. I was going through a bunch of like memory box stuff that was my dad's or maybe it was like at my mom's house. And when my parents were married, my dad traveled a lot for work and he used to send postcards almost everywhere that he was. And he would send them to like sometimes just my mom, sometimes to me, sometimes to both of us. And um, I picked out this one because my dad went to Windermere, which is in the Lake District. And that's like one of my favorite Taylor Swift songs. And so just to see that he was there, he posted this in Liverpool on the 15th of May, 1990. That's crazy. Hi doll, en route from Carlisle to Liverpool, we stopped here to lunch and shop. Got a cute miniature for your mom. Very cute and much hillier than this card shows. All my love me. There's a little folder I was just, I loved making things for people and my little sister was the same way just like photos on photos i would just draw i would write cards and this little folder is called pictures for daddy which is so sweet i did another one it's really cute oh my god this is a this is a two dollar bill they don't even make these anymore do they to carry from dad january 31st 1995 i also have a random old disintegrating one dollar bill that's crazy i'm gonna have to go through all of these these this is my dad's <laughs> this is not supposed to be to me but that's okay i'll keep it oh god i used to like write like these little short stories all sorts of stuff oh my gosh to dad from carrie it was i think this is like a john lennon type of thing and it says groovy oh i must have gone through a hippie stage i also drew the person and it says peace love harmony harmony peace groovy love <laughs> oh it was supposed to go to sarah and then i crossed it off and decided it was going to my dad love that i'm gonna really try not to go through all of this i know i keep saying that oh more dogs gotta have the dogs at all times okay that's gonna go in there let me see what else i just have the most random stuff these are like old um polaroid pictures i have my first vidcon this is one of the first i think this was the first day i met alexa in person so this was in 2017 i want to say and look at us we had we went to this like little event together we hated the event and so we like ditched and we had so much fun oh my god there's so many memories this is so special i'm like do i just put these i think i'm just gonna put these with the other photos this memory box i think is like mostly of mine and drew's relationship so i think i'm just gonna keep this intact but we have random things like moo's little oh, moo's little footprint from when he passed also layla's footprint from when she passed we have some of our receipts from japan this i think was from like an atm at like a 7-eleven so cool had to hold on to that a bunch more receipts from japan old polaroids like oh that's so sweet we went to this tea place this like new tea place that it opened and they were like do you guys want us to take a polaroid of you we were like sure oh my god this was a photo booth we went to in japan drew actually hates these photos so much but i think they're so funny like literally it puts like filters on you that is so hilarious we have some of moo's favorite toys that we held on to this is one of my favorite pictures of us this is on like our favorite hike in laguna love this picture this was again in like 2017. they gave me some forget me not seeds when layla passed so i have those in there i have some taylor swift stickers i have little notes that drew has written me just like so many special things in here drew's um aunt from alaska made me some jewelry so i have these beautiful earrings and then this gorgeous pendant that's like handmade you know it's like i need to hold on to this forever it's like almost too special to wear again someday i will organize all of this but for now it's going in the box in a box oh look, it's already looking so much better random papers okay first gift card for his birthday i gave him that oh forgot i pulled this aside <laughs> adhd in action this is one of my report cards from fourth grade. It never got finished for some reason, but all my report cards used to be like, Carrie is a delight to have in class. She really needs to work on, it's like staying on task, paying attention, not socializing, blah, blah, blah. And they all like said the same thing. That's so funny. I think this is a photo that our niece drew. 
we used to have like a portfolio for her art i need to find that because we have just like a bunch of stuff throughout the years i mean she must have made this when she was like three maybe younger we have so many pieces of her art that like obviously i need to keep oh my god when we came home last year for christmas she had we were staying at drew's mom's house and she had like decorated for us so cute this says you are pretty p-r-e-t-e-y <laughs> you are perfect i'm dead absolutely dead we have our les mis playbill my mom drew and i saw that at pantages in hollywood in 2023 i'm literally gonna be here all night i need to stop okay we need to figure out some serious moves so okay let me just start i don't know where to begin there's just like random photos and bags like ugh, everything is so disorganized it's fine we're gonna find a place for it but today is not gonna be that day oh our friend's daughter drew this and she drew me oh i keep all of this stuff it's just so special i have my taylor swift vip ticket best night ever still have my bracelet from the Aeros tour this was from the first night of the Aeros tour we had a bigger one for the second time we went in la because that was when they filmed for the freaking Aeros tour movie we have again from opening night so many old photos we have cards this is drew's little bag of keepsies so we're gonna put it in mine as well oh this is a note from macy my sweet friend macy lenny she surprised me with flowers on my doorstep when Layla passed and it just meant the world. I love the girl. I guess I'm just gonna start putting stuff in here and then we'll worry about the rest later. Oh my God. This is honestly, I think I showed this before. It's like so aged now, but I wonder if I could use that like retro clean stuff on it. But this is a old radio station in Arizona. I, I think it still exists, but this is a 1994th of July celebration that they had where my dad's band played there. And I'm gonna keep this forever. It is so special. <gasps> I've been looking for this. Drew's mom got us this like candle put her out her thing needed that thank god so excited this is an old um coffee mug that i think my dad gave me for christmas one year that has my siblings on it and it means the world i love it we have a hard drive god knows what's on that we have a random cord i don't know what any of this is we're gonna worry about this later oh was looking for that when we went to the uk last time but we bought another one so okay um a light bulb <laughs> My label maker. I was looking for this. We have a little spider ring. This was from Drew's brother's wedding. Um, he got married on Halloween. I think, honestly, I can probably get all of this stuff to fit in one little thing, which is exactly what I wanted. Perfect. We will close the lid on this one. Oh my God. That feels so nice. And then I'll use my label maker and like put little labels on them. But just to have all of that in one spot, I can, you know, break this down, use it for something else or get rid of it, donate it, whatever. And then this, this is an entire other thing. This has all, this is basically like from my mom. The rest of that stuff was from my dad. So I have like all of my childhood stuff. I have old... <laughs> I have my dad's stocking. I have my stocking from my childhood. I didn't even know I still had this. My dad um, digitized all of my home, my childhood home videos. Um, and I think I showed some of them maybe in a vlog a few vlogmases ago, but it was such a special gift. Although I do need to digitize them again because they're all on DVDs and I kind of need for them to be on like um, some sort of hard drive or something. So I will do that, but so special that makes me so happy i love that i have that i have my first ernie doll i do remember showing this this thing is literally like it was my first doll when i came home from the hospital so i have that i have my mom's veil i was like hoping to salvage this someday if i got married we'll see this i'm so mad it's not in my size right now because i would rock this 100 percent okay I literally, the shirt that I was wearing earlier in this vlog was a High Sierra shirt. It's like one of my favorite brands. I didn't know that that's what this was. This is like a medium, a size medium, so I don't know. But this is my Girl Scout patch shirt. 
I love it. There are so many memories on here. I have a shirt from my elementary school. So cute. I have a shirt. I know this is from my preschool. I know the exact um, photo that I was wearing this shirt. Oh my God, a plate. I remember I made this plate. I'm pretty sure I was like, this is my dad. This is my mom. Like I drew like family members. Oh my God, I used to like make, this is like before mix CDs and stuff. I would make like tapes. I would record my shows after school and stuff. If you know, you know. This denim acid wash puff paint freaking purse that says my name on it. Like I need to wear this. I love that I have this. We have one of my high school yearbooks. I think it was like my freshman year. We have a book I wrote about a boy I had a crush on. We have one of my Santa lists. Santa, look inside my stocking. There is something for you, Love Carrie. We got some field day participation. Oh, and then swimming and diving. We have a framed photo. Oh, me and my grandparents. Oh my God. First of all, this outfit, like when I say I've always loved the 90s Julia Gulia style, I'm not kidding. Like a, like a floral maxi, a vest or a denim jacket and a white tee is my uniform. I love it. That and the bike shorts. Okay, again, school stuff. God, a high school cheerleading photo. That's hilarious. Just in case no one else wants to be shown. But there's me in high school. This is like my baby brush and comb and like the freaking hat and socks and onesie that I came home from the hospital in. That's crazy. We got some old Dayton coasters. I think these were my dad's that he gave me. Slay. We have some keys with a little Disneyland keychain. This would have been from middle school probably that had my house keys on it. We have a little carry name tag. We have a, <laughs> I used to go visit my family in Virginia and go to water country. That was like the cool thing to do was go to the water park. I loved it. And then last but not least, my high school diploma. And there you have it. So I wonder if I can, ooh, is there stuff in the front? No. This bag, kind of slick. I heard some of you say that you actually had this bag as well. Will this fit in here? Oh my God, yes. The fact that all of this fit in these two bins makes me so happy. The Capricorn in me couldn't be happier. So now we have my two little boxes that are ready to go in the closet. They're organized, they have lids. I mean, they're not organized, but you know what I mean? That's a hell of a lot better than this pile that was just sitting here of like miscellaneous stuff. It's just, ah, I can breathe a sigh of relief. So anyways, okay. That's enough yapping for me today. Thanks for hanging out with me for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. It's been a long day. I have been going for now, I did my workout at like 6.30 this morning and it's now 9.30. It's definitely been a long one. I'm gonna go hit the hay. Thank you so much for watching this vlog and I will see you very soon in the next Vlogmas, Vlogmas number eight. Bye.